Moving on now, a journalist was attacked in the Afghan capital with gunmen on a motorcycle firing on his car. Ali Reza Sharifi is a journalist for the Islamic Republic of Iran Broadcasting. Sharifi said that he was driving home with his wife and son when two men riding on a motorcycle opened fire on his car. I was going home with my family, my son and wife. On the way, a motorcycle came from the left and got close to me. They were two people and they opened fire. The windows of the car broke and shredded window pieces hit my left eye. A bullet fired from the left just touched my lip and got out from the part of my lip. My lip was wounded. No one immediately claimed responsibility for the attack. The Taliban have said that they are investigating to find the perpetrator. Pictures of Sharifi's car shared on social media show at least two bullet holes, one on the car's window. After some bullets were fired, I was conscious. I reversed the car and escaped to the back. I got around 50 to 60 meters away from the site and noticed that the shooters rode the motorcycle and escaped from the site. Iran has condemned the assassination bid on its state TV scribe, calling for a thorough probe into the incident. At least three journalists have been killed in Afghanistan since the withdrawal of U.S. forces in late August. This assault comes just days after an Afghan media watchdog report. It says that more than 30 instances of violence and threats of violence against Afghan journalists in the last two months. Now, for more on this story, our correspondent Anas Malik is joining us live from Kabul. Good evening to Anas. Thanks for being with us. Now, we know uh, that no one has claimed responsibility for the attack yet. This doesn't seem to be the modus operandi of ISIS-K. Take us through what uh, the Taliban have said in terms of the investigation to find this perpetrator. Well, uh, Alison, as we speak, the Taliban have said that they will be p bringing preparators of this attack on journalists to uh, to task. But as a, as of yet, there is no progress on ground. Uh, it is pertinent to mention that 153 media organizations have been closed since the Taliban took charge here in Kabul. Uh, about 30 journalists have been attacked in the past two months since the Taliban took charge. 90 percent of these attacks were uh, driven by the Taliban or Taliban members. Uh, now we saw these attacks taking place uh, in the, uh, over the weekend. We saw three attacks, on, one on the 28th, 29th and 30th of October, which targeted journalists as well. In the past three decades, we've seen about uh, uh, 55 journalists having lost their lives. There's an another similar incident that took place in Nangarhar in the east, where, uh, where a wedding was targeted by alleged Taliban fighters, because the Taliban spokesperson have uh, distanced themselves from uh, those, who, uh, those who carried out this uh, uh, attack. And they said that uh, 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 what happened in Nangarhar was that there was a wedding that was overplaying music and allegedly Taliban men stormed that and fired upon that and at least two or three people have lost their lives another 10 are injured Alison and us thank you for bringing us all the latest details on that attack we are now available in your country download the app now get all the news on the move